man every time i watch a film like this it just it makes me think like america's history kind of sucks at the defense table abby hoffman jerry rubin dave dellinger Rennie davis lee weiner john Freund, tom hayden and bobby seal these defendants had a plan and the plan was to incite a riot i call this portion of the trial with friends like these <laughs> My trial's begun without my lawyer. The court assumes you are being represented by the Black Panther sitting behind you. The riots were started by the Chicago Police Department. Sustained. Nobody objected. All right, the trial of the Chicago 7. Um, so this film is based on a true story about the 1968 National uh, or Democratic National Convention and uh, a big fight riot took place and so these specific seven people who were involved um, they're getting tried for conspiracy basically that they incited the riot and then they are trying to say that it was actually the police who incited the violence and, and caused the riot to take place. What I mean from the beginning obviously there's always a balance, right? So yeah, like there's a lot of really sucky things in our history and that's really obvious. Um, there's a lot of good things that's happened in our history. I, I understand that. It's crazy to see a lot of things like this. You have a film like this or you have a film like Detroit or like the film that I just recent, recently reviewed, Judas and the Black Messiah. It's just... There's so much stuff where you're like, this is crazy that it ever happened. We have who I think, the only person I can think of right now, I think he is the greatest writer who, where in his films, it's nearly 100% dialogue from beginning to end. And I'm talking about Aaron Sorkin. He writes this film. He's wrote films like A Few Good Men, the Social Network, Moneyball, Steve Jobs, most recently Molly's Game, and then this one. It's if you've seen even like a couple of those, uh, you you know how great they are. I mean, The Social Network and Moneyball are a couple of my I I, I swear to God, they're a couple of my favorite films I have ever seen ever. I think Moneyball is still on Netflix. Social Network was on Netflix for a really long time. I don't know if it's still on there. But if you haven't seen either, either of those, please go see them because you're doing yourself a huge disservice if you don't. Please don't be afraid. Like, if you're not into social networking, you're not, you know, into Facebook, doesn't matter. Very intriguing. It takes the drama side of it and, like, how it came, how it came to be, essentially. And I believe... Mark Zuckerberg said it's not like 100% accurate, which I think if you're going to make a good film based on a true story, most of the time there's going to be some things are going to be fabricated, some some stuff. And same thing with Moneyball. If you're not a fan of baseball or math, it doesn't matter. Just I give it a shot. They're both fantastic films that have more to do than just with what you, you what you see on the surface, you know, don't judge a book by its cover type of thing. But anyway, Aaron Sorkin, he's just phenomenal at this. Like, I think even, especially nowadays, I haven't done this sort of research as of recent, but I under, I know from years past, every year, uh, attention spans have been going down. And so if you can create a film where there's next to no action at all and still keep the interest... It's my, that's mind blowing. That's incredible. Same thing, like you know how I was saying, Daniel Kaluuya is the type of dude now where it's like if he comes out with a film, you need to go see his film. Like if he's acting in it, Aaron Sorkin, if he wrote it, you need to see it. The reason I was intrigued with this really is uh, is Eddie Redmayne in the trailer. Like if you've seen an interview with Eddie Redmayne, or if you don't know who I'm talking about, he's the guy who is in Fantastic Fantastic Beasts. He was in The Theory of Everything. He played. Um, um, Stephen Hawking and he has a really thick British accent sometimes you can't even really understand it and it was his accent in this is incredible it's nuts I know two back-to-back -back reviews where I have somebody who just has an incredible American accent and I'm not sure if he I, I'm not sure if his character in this film is from Illinois like from Chicago where the riot took place and where this whole convention took place but either way his accent's nuts it's great uh, and then you have people like Sasha Baron Cohen. 
Wh when have you seen Sasha Baron Cohen do anything that wasn't like a character, like a full on fledged dr animated character, like Borad, Bruno, uh, the dictator? Like, he doesn't do stuff like this and he did this and I, I i think it's because aaron sorkin has that appreciation just with actors like people want to work with him because they know that his writing's incredible and to be in one of his films is just nuts um then you have other people like john carroll lynch who's great small part in this uh jeremy strong who it's funny because i just saw the big short and he's just this like jockey like always chewing gum just like are we gonna sell it? We, we need to sell our position boss and then in this he's just like a hippie then you have mark rylance which i i think between him and eddie redmayne had just the best performances this most believable um mark rylance plays the lawyer who's representing most of the chicago seven you do have this one character who stands out i i have to look at this because i don't y yaya abdul mateen the second I think that's how you say it. I hope I didn't butcher it. But anyway, he plays Bobby Seal, who gets put in this trial, even though he has nothing to do with everything that happened. And they wouldn't give him a separate trial, even though who his lawyer that was supposed to represent him was like in the hospital. And they just wouldn't give him a separate trial. They wouldn't give him a separate trial. And um, they kept saying, hey, why don't you just represent him? You know, Mark Rylance's character. You're representing everyone else but he didn't want it because he wanted his own plus you have your right to your own lawyer like, like you could choose who you want you shouldn't have to just be like oh well he's in the hospital can't wait so just use this guy like that's that's not how it should be and I'm pretty sure that's not how it is now back then obviously even though racism is still a thing it was still far more prevalent then and it's just very clear that even though this wasn't a racial thing just how rigged the situation was like it was in it was so it's tilted so far to one side and every time there was just a glimpse of hope or anyone just kind of believed the the side of the seven it just seemed like it just got tilted right back to the other side you just see how corrupt it was in this trial it's always hard for me because i i didn't do like research on this i don't know how accurate this depiction was um but if this is how it went down it's just you know it'll never i don't think it'll ever just make at least me i don't think it'll ever just have me going like yeah you know that's how it was like it, just uh i don't know um content with it i guess i'll never just think it was just like oh you know it was just another one of those things like it's oh it's always mind-boggling how it ever how it ever happened like how I can go on a whole rant about this in, in a completely separate video, but can you feel this like through the review? You can feel how it just, it, it's upsetting, like watching this film. And um, so if you're the type of person that just doesn't like to feel like that, you're not going to like this film at all. But I really encourage to give it a shot because based on a true story, it's an important part of history that even though you don't think it affects you, like it indirectly does in one way or another, it may like if you go to trial like this this is the type of thing where it affects trials for the future um or people look back on when they're rewriting the laws or the rules or they're looking at cons or they're considering changing something these are these are the types of situations in our history where they go back on it's just like politics like i'm really ignorant for politics i don't know much at all about politics um, even though I know I should and people say it, you know all the time I get it it's important um, but it's just one of those things where like if you're someone like me you don't really feel the effects of things going down in the politics or at least you don't think you do but it's there and um, it's clear that's why it's important that's why people talk about it that's just how this film is it gets you it gets you feeling something which is so incredibly important and I've I've touched on this subject before for film it's just so incredible because you can take someone who has a passion for film and you know i've years of history i've taken in school and whatnot this has maybe been brought up even if it wasn't expanded on it's just probably something that i brushed out of my head but when you combine an art like film that i love and then you put a good writer in there with good actors good producers to back the film good direct you know it doesn't have to be 
perfect but if you get a good film out of it i will remember i will know about this trial forever i will never forget about it because of this film and that makes entertainment in general like this you know any kind of art um that makes you feel something that sticks in your mind that's what makes it um important that's my rant on on this film i guess it's less of a review it felt more like a rant um and it was a long one man i i swear i go into every single one of these videos and i go this is it this is the one where i'm gonna hit the five to six minutes it's not gonna go past that and then i just like it's like 12 minutes but i'm gonna cut it down obviously i think i touched on everything i i, I had to say about this one i hope it gets nominated for an oscar i know it's nominated for a golden globe um i could definitely see a couple people being nominated uh for their performances so if you just want to see an all-around good film something that you know is based on a true story on our past history this is definitely a brilliant one to see um just look out for that man aaron sorkin anytime you see his name just get ready for a good film so i forgot to review this film um and i'm just going to come in and tell you that i give this one a an 8.4 all right. What did you think about it? If you've seen it, if you haven't, I recommend it again. Go ahead and if you like this review, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I post more videos. We have a bunch of movies starting to get released this year. Finally, it kind of feels like things are slowly, slowly getting back to normal. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Now, how much is it worth to you? What's your price? To call off the revolution? My life. Open your eyes, cause a new day is dawn.